What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I want to welcome you to segment two of Gone Veggie. Joanne Gray has gone veggie. For those of you who did not know, I have been on a month-long crusade to vegetarianism, veganism, or whatever you want to call it. So for over a month now, I have not had um, any animal products whatsoever. And I just realized that I bought this kimchi, and kimchi has crushed shrimp inside of it. So I, I'm disgusted because I really do want to have this, and I really have to. I'm going to have to think about it because do I want to have it really? Yes. And I and I'm probably going to eat it up, but. Um, so far, I haven't had any animal products, um, no meat at all. So I've been finding creative ways to use my vegetables. Um, usually what I'm using as the replacement for meat or the psych out for meat, which I don't really need, but, you know, to tell people about, it is um, the latest thing is a zucchini. So I'm cutting them into slices and then sauteing them up skin on, you know, wash it real good, then slice it into little quarter size circles and then saute it with the onions and garlic. Fresh onions and garlic, saute it all up together. Okay, I'm also, I just went to this store yesterday for the first time called Fresh World and I was able to get the soy bean sprouts. For those of you who like bean sprouts, this makes a good chop suey. What I'm going to do is just add this to my meals for color and flavor. I season, when I'm sauteing my vegetables, I use a little oil and I saute onions, garlic, fresh onion, garlic, bell peppers, and whatever my main meat or veggie is going to be. And so far I've been using portobello mushrooms, the big ones, sliced, or even the, the smaller bella, um, they call them baby bellas or baby portobellas, um, sliced. I use eggplant and uh, now I've gone to using the zucchini. Use that, saute that all up, and then start throwing in additional ingredients like spinach, handful of spinach, handful of carrots, shredded carrots, and cherry tomatoes, and then now I'm going to start adding in the bean sprouts. Okay, what I wanted to show you too, that pocket that I didn't have, it. I'll tell you about the flat out. If you notice how it is on the front cover. It comes with two, it's two little, right here, it's one piece and you fold it in half like a taco and that's how you make your sandwich. But this is called Flat Out Exclusive Hungry Girl Folded Flatbread. It's 100% whole wheat flat. I also happened upon this at Walmart. It's from their market side collection. It's classic smooth guacamole. For all of you who know, guacamole is the most fattening fruit in the whole wide world. Well, avocados are. And this guacamole is a 100 calorie snack. So for 100 calories, you got this pack. And what I'm going to do is use these on my Quakes um, baby rice cakes and just kind of spread it on there and have it like a chip and dip type of thing. When I ever have those cravings, which have all but disappeared, I bought a fresh bunch of spinach that I'm going to be throwing into my sautés, and I bought some fresh okra. I'm going to sauté those up. I'm going to use that as my main meat for my pita pockets. Just going to clean those up real good and then sauté those in, and they're going to be the meat consistency for my meals. I've also bought green peas. Have you ever tried dried green peas? Uh, maybe you haven't, but they, I remember tasting them in the oodles of noodles or the, they were called cup of noodles when I was growing up and they used to have a pea and it looked like a piece of egg or something that was in there that when you put the hot water on it, it would reconstitute itself. I, it, I ate one of those one time, just picked it up and ate it, and it was really good. So when I saw these, I picked it up, and it crunches. It has a real cr crunch, like a peanut, and it has an excellent taste, and it tastes kind of like they salted it lightly. So these are really good. This is going to be a snack. I'll probably do just a little handful, maybe 10 or 12 of these at a time. 
I bought the banana chips. They were a dollar seventeen for this whole bucket here. So this was cheaper than in those bags. So this uh, fresh food store, what do they call it? Fresh Fresh World store is really good. I got some apricots, dried, and I got some more mango. This is a lot. It's less than a pound, but it's also less than five bucks. So that's really, really, really excellent for me. Let's see. I wanted to show you a picture of me before. This is, I would like to be there. This was when I was, I was 135. I was just under 40 years old. I was about 39 on this picture. Now I'm 43. And I've gained a lot of weight. And I got all sorts of excuses why I've gained weight, but pretty much it was just me overeating. That's how I gained so much additional weight. So right now, I am considered obese. Okay. And I don't want to be. I'm feeling better. The tally for this week, you know, I've been waiting for the last three weekends. The first the I weighed in three weekends ago. The second weekend I was um, seven pounds down, and I weighed in this past weekend and I lost three pounds. So I have lost a total of ten pounds as of Sunday. I'm feeling slimmer. I'm wearing the same things, and I think I'm just going to continue to wear this little deal when I do these segments so that I can see the difference. Because you'll be able to see some videos where I wore this before, where you can see my chest was up here. You know, and I could feel that it was affecting my breathing. Now, you guys know that I'm a nurse. I'm seeing younger and younger people coming in, presenting themselves with complications from diabetes on the verge of death and dying, being diagnosed with cancer. So when I see people come into my facility that look like me, I have a problem. I've noticed this trend for the last 10 years as a nurse that people are getting younger and younger. Society's ills are killing us off. Morbid obesity is killing us off. High blood pressure is killing us. And diabetes is killing us. Diabetes, high blood pressure and diabetes are leading us to dialysis, kidney failure and dialysis. And then there's nowhere to go from there. And we can prevent these things. I talk to these people. I ask a person that looks like me, what happened? Most of the people aren't respecting diabetes. And I think I'm going to start doing some segments on respecting your disease process because I have had some friends who have lost limbs. And now, I just recently in the last week, I've had a friend, a very dear friend, one of my best friends, lose a limb, diabetic, who didn't respect the disease. And I asked him as well. It was it all came down to lack of respect for diabetes. We don't have to have this, you all. And I see people when they come into the facility and their diet is maintained by the facility with no additional sweets and eliminating the salt from their diet where they're almost forced to have it because that's what we prepare. Them having come off of having to check blood sugars all the time, their A1C dropping to a normal level. It is the food that we're consuming that is killing us. It is the amounts of food. It is the massive amounts of food. So I would encourage everyone today, if you're eating to the point where you are feeling bad when you get finished eating, when you hear your body say that you're hungry and you go in there and get something to eat, please respect your body's signals that say, I'm full, and stop eating. Don't feel full. You do not have to do that. It, it is not necessary for you to finish this entire meal if you're full. Start making smaller portions. Make what you make, but put just the sensible portion on your plate. And then if you're hungry again, you can go back. I grew up with Louisiana parents who cooked with love and the plates were stacked up to the ceiling. Their metabolism was different. Mine was virtually non-existent. So while I grew up around everybody slender, I've always been pleasingly plump. Even here, it would be considered pleasingly plump to some people, but that's skinny. That was an extra small and a size 6. 
and obviously I could not maintain it because I just lost sight. I thought that I was okay and I didn't realize that as I was getting older my hormones were going to start go, going haywire and that the th all the people who grew up really thin in high school, you go back to your 20 year class reunion and they're, they're blown up. Okay, You look at people who have spent their whole life thin and you see them in their 40s and 50s and they're morbidly obese. Okay, I don't want to be that. I don't want that for myself. I don't want to have the complications. I don't want to have a heart attack. When I start feeling my fingers tingling, when I walk up the stairs and I'm breathless, when I have to sit down and actually recover from walking up the stairs, when I'm in school now and have somebody check my pulse and my blood pressure after walking up the stairs and my heart rate is 120 from just walking up 13 stairs, there's a problem, okay? There's a problem because it wasn't, I wasn't running up the stairs. But I can tell and I love myself and I want you all to love yourself enough to do the right thing, to make yourself well, to heal yourself from the inside out. And it will be contagious but it, and it won't be a popular thing. You'll do this and people will tell you that you're wrong and people will tell you that you're not eating but your plate is filled with food because they don't see a biscuit or because they don't see ten biscuits or because they don't see a slab of meat there. This food is good and when I, as I am older and I don't have a family around me, I eat on the run. So chefing up a nice little burrito, a little pita with some good stuff inside of it works for me because I'm not really sitting down and dressing a table. Everything I'm doing is kind of on the go. Now I can see if you were always sitting down and having family time how you would want everything to be proportioned and beautiful and nice colors and, and, and no two, not having two carbs on a plate and, and all that and having everybody satis satisfied but there's a way for healthy cooking and you're going to have to do the research to find out what's going to work for you. I contend that you can cook what you always cook, you just can't eat as much of it as you can, I mean, as, you, as you have been doing because if you look at yourself you do not look good. As much as you want to feel like you do, you are not healthy. You're not healthy. Okay? And if you're huffing and puffing, if you're snoring at night, if you can't do walk five minutes, if you can't do things that you could normally do, you're going to have to get it together. You're going to have to for your life because right now we're living short lives. There are some of us that can live to seemingly forever, but there are some good people that are hidden, you know, that are gone in their 40s and 50s, and I don't want to be that person. So this is my motivation, and I hope that it motivates you. I want to encourage everyone to watch a movie called Fat, Sick, and Almost Dead. It's available for free to watch on Netflix, if you have Netflix or you may be able to get it from your local movie houses if they still have those blockbusters and, and those little um, movie houses you may be able to get someone to get that for you but I want to encourage you to watch that movie and be encouraged if you are at home and you feel like you have a problem now of course if you don't feel like you have a problem and you're getting around and you don't mind being breathless and you don't mind having all this stuff on top of your heart and crushing your chest while you're sleeping so be it. I'm here for me. I'm saying if you want to be in, in it to win it, you want to live a long, healthy life, you don't want to carry around 10 bowling balls with you while you're walking, you want to feel better, find something that's going to work for you and do it. And I wish you all success in whatever your endeavors are. My quest is for life, a nice, long, healthy life. And I wish the same for you. God bless, and I will be back later.